Hey, I got a question for you. How many facts would you have to see to believe that something could be true? Is it five facts? Is it 10? Is it 25? How about 100,000? Here's a book called The Encyclopedia of Bible Facts. It says on the back here, here, and I read a lot of this, it's fascinating to me. Facts on the Bible background covering everything from archaeology to work. Facts on the whole Bible reviewing books, battles, events, places, people, and teaching. Facts from the Old Testament providing analysis of authors, dates, languages, beliefs, and summaries of each book in key verses. Facts from the New Testament providing analysis of authors, words, beliefs, and everything you need to know about Jesus, Paul, and the early church. There's more facts that substantiate the Bible, that this is the inspired Word of God. This is not just an ordinary book written by man. And there, there's, it, it is the inspired Word of God, and it's for us today. It's God telling you how much He loves you, cares about you, wants the best for you. That's why He sent Jesus, who is the foundation of the Bible. Confession of faith in Him as Lord and Savior, according to what the Word says, opens up the gates of heaven. Now, isn't that a simple thing to understand based on about 100,000 documented facts? That should make anybody that questioned it in the past say, hmm, there must be something here. Maybe I ought to take a, li a little closer look with more of an open mind about the Bible. Something to think about this week. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.